Like uh, all of us here, you've reported on uh, meth. It's a big problem, big story in this state. Where is it coming from? How can the uh, state uh, address this? It's right a now? very interesting story because the strongest stuff, if you will, now is coming from south of the border in super labs in Mexico and being brought in illegally, of course. It gets wrapped up somewhat with the illegal immigration issue, but it's, it can be distinguished from it as a law enforcement question. But bottom line, Oklahoma passed some legislation in 2012 creating what's called INPLEX, the National Precursor Log Exchange, which tracks uh, transactions having to do with pseudoephedrine. I always have trouble with that, you know, the key ingredient in a lot of anti-cold medicines. Well, what some want to do is require that people who are law-abiding who have a cold have to have a prescription to get that medication. But the framework created in 2012 has already cut in half the number of illegal, illegal meth drag uh, labs that are domestic really? here in Oklahoma. So the what I'm encouraging is that the emphasis needs to be on law enforcement now and not on the law abiding.